Hello and welcome back to the spoiler cast show. We talk about movies and don't care about spoiling them. My name is Tobias, and with me as always, Mr. Sixteen Seconds. Rebecca. Hello. <laughs> Hello, and today I just want to, before we start, I want to say thank you to all our patrons over on patreon.com slash don't make a scene that help us uh, 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 keep the show afloat. If you want an extra episode every week, including a bunch of other stuff, check us out on patreon.com slash don't make a scene. And now, on to the review, because we're going to talk about a new movie today, and the movie is Flash! Yay! Yay! <laughs> and I did the intro super fast. Yeah, because we're talking about the Flash, and he's <laughs> super fast. <laughs> That was the stupidest thing ever. But sure, let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, welcome. I was going to yes. do a longer <laughs> intro, but uh, I was like, now it has to be fast. Let's just do it as quickly as possible. Yes. Yes, because today we're talking about the new DC... Uh, I'm going to say it, DCEU movie, The Flash. Ooh, yeah. Yay. Um, and if you're familiar with this show, if you've listened to it before... Available on every major pla- podcast platform, including YouTube. Um, I, at least I am a huge fan of... I can't say the DCEU, but I'm a huge fan of... Uh, the Snyderverse. The, uh, yeah, the Snyderverse. The, the the Man of Steel trilogy, if you will. Man of Steel, Batman vs Superman, and the Justice League. The, the uh, Snyder's Zack Snyder version. version. Yeah. Um... And as we know, we haven't talked about it that much. Uh, we have talked about it a little bit, but as we all know, it has been, it has been struggling for a decade now um, to, to really connect decade. with audiences. Yeah, Man oh, of Steel, Lord. 2013. Okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of false starts and, and a lot of bad movies. Um, uh, yeah, we, we're not going to talk about those. <laughs> no, we've, we've done episodes on all the, the complications and some of the other movies and all that stuff. Yes, and now of course the, the the death knell has been has been struck. Um, they are of course officially now, uh, finally I suppose, abandoning the DCU and starting over with James Gunn's whatever verse he's gonna call it. I don't even know. They have some name for it, and they're starting actually starting this year with the Blue Beetle, which is coming out later this year. Um, but- abandoning everything that Zack Snyder had envisioned for his for his uh, comic book universe. But they're still finishing it off with this movie, The Flash. Yes. I mean, I mean, technically the you the 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 Snyderverse has been dead since oh, yeah, I guess 2021 when they when they um Allowed him to release the uh, the actual finished version of the the Justice League, the Snyder cut. Um, yeah, the Snyder cut. Uh, and they were like, I mean, we're never gonna finish this. So how about we just give you twenty million to finish it up, and we'll release it on HBO Max. And he's like, sure. Um, and it was really, you know, it was it was I dare I said his magnum opus. I, for me, it's a ten out of ten. That movie. We've yeah, talked like about that we've as well. talked about. Yeah, but then what? Yeah, what, the the Flash, the twenty twenty three, the Flash. Which universe does this belong to? Well, that's the thing. Ever since, um, ever since the, the Snyder Cut came out, and it was a huge success, it was. And I mean, it got, I won't say great, it got good reviews, at least it got better reviews than the first uh, um, Justice League movie, which yeah. is god awful. Uh, just terrible. <laughs> um, they, they've kept saying, like, yeah, we're abandoning the, 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 just, the Justice League and the Snyder verse and everything. But they had all these projects planned already, probably already spent a bunch of money on them, so they were like, but we gotta, I guess, we gotta finish it up. So that's why we got, of course, um, uh, we got Sh- Shazam 2 uh, earlier oh, this year. Oh, that's part of it too, right. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting um, that they're DC. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, if if you really wanna, you could almost say that the the Snyderverse kind of died in 2017 with the first Justice League, uh, because True. it was so terrible. Yeah, and but then then they they yeah they released uh, the first Wonder Woman the very same year, and they were like, yeah, we kind of have to do it. And the first Shazam, and I mean Aquaman came after that. And the funny thing is, every movie after that first Justice League has really been. Fun, I would say. I mean, not great, but I mean, these aren't these aren't great movies. I'm not expecting greatness, except for from Justice League. Yeah, I didn't. I, I well, I didn't expect it from that either because 
Um, if you want to look back on my channel when, back when I did uh, actual YouTube videos, <laughs> I had a, a video about the Justice League uh, Snyder Cut being released and how I was so excited to watch it because it was going to be the worst movie ever, but even longer this time. And boy, was I wrong, because I loved that movie. So I, even I, a doubter, love that movie. Either way, so they've kept releasing more movies because they had all this stuff planned and they didn't want to lose the money. So we got, like, sequel upon sequel. Um, and we're even getting, I mean, I mean, uh, and, and cameos, like, like Ben Affleck and Gal Gadot showing up in movies everywhere. And we have Gal, one woman showing up both in Shazam and in this, the Flash movie. Yeah. Um, and Ben Affleck, of course, is Batman in in this movie as well. Um, and we're still getting Aquaman later this year or next year. I don't remember. Um, well, that's right. And, and what I thought, and I guess well, now we're going to get into the action movie. Sorry about all this. But yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot to talk about. <laughs> I really thought that this movie, since it's based on Flashpoint, one of the more celebrated uh, like big events in the DC comic book universe... Um, you know, it was an event back in like 2010 or 2011 where they, they wanted to reset all, or at least all the major comic book lines for the first time since they were started. Um, they'd never really done like a reset. I know Marvel had done a couple of them, but DC had never done it. So they, they did the Flashpoint where the Flash goes back in time and fucks up, uh, you know, the, the space time continuum. Which then yes. resulted in they could restart all the major comic line books, or comic book lines. So I thought this was going to be like the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, for the DCEU. They were going to have, you know, the Flash reset everything, and he would end up in this new universe where he could meet Blue Beetle, and there would be this new Superman that they were that they're going to do as well that James Gunn is working on. Like that, this was going to be the reset button, basically. Yeah. But, but it um, isn't. <laughs> not really. No. No. Um, well, there's there, there's no there's no hint of of this new universe in it. Um, like I said, we have we have Snyder's uh, Zack Snyder's uh, version of the characters are still in it. Um, well, and the only references to well, oh right, yeah, yeah. Well, there is there is this little thing at the end, you know, that could mean. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, but we'll get, it could, and they could use that as a I scapegoat really if they really think, wanted to. No, and I'll tell you why, Rick. I'll tell you why. Oh, by, by the way, this is a movie full of little, like, Easter eggs and cameos, yes. of course. It's going to be hard to not spoil anything. You know um, what? How so about I, we, we, we do what we usually do? We start over here. We go, what did you think of it? <laughs> and then we go into spoilers and yeah, details. Yeah, I, I, I would... I, I I was just gonna say I was just gonna say um that this movie really feels like a continuation of the Snyderverse, which is really weird. But I'm I'm hopeful they might change their mind at some point still. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's let's just let's just say what we actually thought of it, and then we can just start talking nitpicks. I suppose. Yes. So, so for, for like we what usually you do with think the... of the Flash. Yeah, we're gonna do it spoiler free, like we try to do in the when it's new movies. Yeah, but um, this will be a short spoiler-free section. Yes, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I thought it was uh, um, too much and a little bit messy and uh, annoying, but it's mainly because I despise um, time travel movies or okay. things where... All, just no, in general? No, 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 not in general. There are a few that are actually good. I despise the ones where the characters are aware of the implications of altering time but still do it. Which we have well, here, because he does know that he's not supposed to change anything. He's not supposed to go back in time. He's not supposed to whatever. But, you know, he still does it. So, yeah. he's just dumb. <laughs> but I, got, I, I gotta ask you, I'm, I, I, I'm not I'm gonna, I'm, I shouldn't combat you. This is your opinion, but on a movie. But I'm just asking, like, how many of these movies have you seen? Because you sound like, oh, I'm so sick of all these time travel movies. Like, I haven't seen that many time travel movies. I've seen enough. At least not. Yeah, but like movies where they know the implications but still do it. Like, can you give me an example? Oh, I don't know the names of them all, for Christ's sake. Well, mention. Maybe I'll know the name. Um. Well, there's the one that comes to mind right now is there's a bunch of teenagers who manage to travel in time for some reason. 
they go back and like, oh, they win the lottery because they know what lottery numbers are going to win. So they get rich and then they go back and change. I don't remember if they change the, someone's, save someone's life or something, but it just ends up with them all dying, of course, because, you know, they fucked up time, space and continuum and all that stuff. Okay. There's, there's a no few of those. Is. No, is exactly. Is it Clockstoppers? N- no. Isn't that a Disney movie? <laughs> No, you're thinking of um, you're thinking of the Minutemen or whatever. Oh it's yeah, <laughs> that's a great movie though. The the snowsuit guys. That's one oh, of the yeah, few yeah. like Disney Disney Channel originals that I like actually remember watching when I was a kid. Either way, sorry. It might be Clockstoppers. Um, I don't remember the name of it to be honest. That's an old movie though. I think um, uh, what's his name? Br- uh, 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 Brian Earl Spilner. What's his name? Ryan Earl Spilner? <laughs> Fast and Furious guy who died. Oh, uh, O'Connor. Paul uh, Rudd. Paul, no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Paul Walker. Paul Walker, right. I'm so bad at names. I don't know. Why. I stopped remembering names. I don't know why. Um, He's in Clockstoppers, I think. I don't think so. No, I Either don't way, think I have no one. idea what you're talking no, about. That sounds like the most the generic it. piece of shit movie ever. Sorry. Yeah, no, it is. So generic, you can't even remember the name. Do you have another one, maybe? Not specific one, but I've seen enough of them, like I said. Okay. Because I I know, like, this is the kind of thing where, like, when they talk about time travel in movies, it's always some, they they bring up their stuff. But then they don't don't really travel through time? Or it's more like a conversation thing, but I don't, I don't see a lot of time travel movies. I don't know. Maybe I've missed a bunch. I don't know. Either way. Okay, sorry. Yeah, no, that... Continue with your... Uh... That, that first of all, that bothers me. I don't like time travel movies when they're aware of the implications and they, they still go ahead and do it because, you know, I'm going to be careful. Bullshit. Doesn't matter how careful you are, you're still going to fail. Um, <laughs> then also, I'm not a fan of the character, Barry Allen, because he's annoying to me, like I've mentioned to you, and I think I've mentioned it yeah. in the Justice League uh, episode, probably. Probably. Um, and now we have... Well, you've seen it in the trailer. There's two of them now, so it's it's extra annoying. <laughs> yeah. And also, it's two hours and 30 minutes long, almost. Well, we talked about this. It isn't, though. It's two and two hours and 24, sure. and at least 10 minutes, 10 minutes of that is uh, a credit. So it's really Fine. only a little bit over two hours. I'm just uh, saying. Yeah, but that's still a bit too long. And I'm sure. not. I'm not. I mean, yes. I'm not we super stoked with like the, the 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 small Easter eggs and the blah the the Batman's and stuff like that. Like, yeah, sure, that's fun. But mm, do you need that to make the movie great? Should you really have no. to depend on that? And that's something I want to get into a little bit later, um, because <clears throat> I, I uh, famously, I say, I don't know how many people know this. Famously, <laughs> I hated uh, Spider-Man uh, No Way Home, which is basically, not really, but it's sort of the same story. I mean, it's multiple worlds, multiple versions of the same character. And I hated it because it is 80% uh, like, whoa, uh, fan service Andrew Garfield <laughs> and uh, uh, Tobey Maguire is back and then 20 20 uh, 20% a pretty bad story yeah that is yeah it's 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 typical both time well not really time travel but typical like multiverse stuff um, and also uh, the, the, the big takeaway from the movie is with great power comes great responsibility and I'm like Wow, that's groundbreaking for a Spider-Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's kind of the same here, so though. Much ass. I think it's a, yeah. No, that movie wasn't great, but neither was this because it has the same problem. It's it's just it's first of all, it's repeating the story. We've seen this movie technically before, just from another perspective. We have. Well, yeah, it's when Zod comes and visits Earth the other time in that other movie. Which one it is? Is I don't remember Man which one it is. Right? Yes. <laughs> We just see it well, from a different that... angle now, technically. Well, that's that's only the last hour, um, and it's not really about that. No, that's it's true. Just that, but it's still it's there. Just that it is. It is the one big thing, um, except for, of course, uh, uh, the justice when when um, when Stephen Wolf came to Earth. But they can't really repeat that. It's too, it's too big, and they need something more. 
uh, something older, you know. So it's really the only big happening in the DCEU they can use as a big world-ending event. So that's why they picked it, I think. Yeah, probably. Um, so... I'm gonna well, say now, there's, now there's I'm doing one. It again. Sorry, keep yeah. going with the. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I did like about this movie is is Supergirl or Kara, 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 Jorel. It's not Jorel. No, it's not Jorel because she's not of their family. Well, she's she's, an, she's well, a cousin. No, she has a family name. She's a cousin. That's right. So she has the same last name, I suppose. Yeah, Kara so Jorel. She was cool. She's I really want to cool. know more about her. But I'm, I'm, yeah. I've uh, realized that there's probably going to be a Supergirl movie, so I assume we're going to know more about her. It's not going to be that Supergirl, though. Oh, no. It's going to be this a long one. Yeah, this is... I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is technically part of the Snyderverse, since we have the Ezra Miller Flash and the Ben Affleck Batman and Gaga Dot Wonder Woman. Um, Michael Shannon Sod. So they're not yeah. going to reuse any of those characters, or actors, I mean, well, characters... In the new movies, they're doing new Ugh. Superman, new Batman, new Supergirl. Then um, that doesn't help with me not liking this movie because uh, why would you release a movie about these characters if you're not going to continue on with this universe? Christ's sake! Yeah. Either well, e- either well, either way. Either well. I'm generally it was it was still entertaining at points. It's a bit too goofy, and I'm not a fan of goofy superheroes. Like Shazam, I can excuse because he's a child, technically. Uh, uh, Barry Allen is an adult who works, so he shouldn't be as goofy. I mean, the well. first scene was fine <laughs> when he saved the babies, but then after that, everything goofy after that was just like, come on, dude. Okay. Nah. Yeah, I uh, hate all those movies where where grown ups are being funny. Comedy. No, 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 no. <laughs> There's a difference between being funny and being just childishly goofy for sure, no apparent sure. I'm reason. Kid, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So on a, on a scale of one to five, what would you give this? Or I guess one. Well, yeah, one to five, and you can give half stars as well. Yeah, yeah I gave ten. it a two and a half in, in on Letterbox because it was still kind okay. of entertaining, but it was. Pushing it Nothing at points. Nothing you're going to revisit. Yeah. No, not too much. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'll give my brief. Sorry, because yes. I interrupted you a lot. So yeah, but This isn't as brief um, as you thought. <laughs> exactly. I'll give my brief uh, opinion on the movie before we move on to uh, spoilers. I really liked it. But you only I gave it three stars. It was... I know, because I, I also recognize that it is, it is uh, a horrible CGI mess. Uh, yes. The last hour is, is so much punching. Oh, I it's, forgot it's, to mention it has, the CGI. It, 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 we'll talk about the CGI. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> the oh CGI my was God. awful. Like not not awful. I mean, it was still like shading was fine, but it was uh, no, most no, no, of no, it no. was it was was awful. like human characters. Yeah, and it, they all looked like like. Puppets. It was so weird. It looked. Get so on bad. with what you thought of the movie. We'll get back to yes, the CGI. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> so it had all the. It had all the shit I hate with these cape shit movies. It had all the. I mean, they even have a scene where they say, "Oh, let's just punch." And I was like, "Oh no, here comes the punching again." And it, you know, uh, uh, fairly enough, that's only the end. But still, like, there's a lot of punching it, towards the end. It's a long end. <laughs> it's a long ending. Yes. Um. So, I recognize that. I also recognize that there's not. There, I mean, the 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 theme or the story is is very is very surface level. There's no yes. great lessons to be learned here. It's entertainment. So you know, for that, I I, I lowered my score. But I, like I said, I was entertained. I enjoyed the movie. So I gave it a three out of five, six out of ten. You know. Yeah. Um. And and also, yes, I am slightly biased because I do. I've always been a DC guy bef- before, you know, when it comes to comics. Sure, I so was I. I love the Joker. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I like Spider Man as well, but it's never been my like favorite. You know, no, Spider Man's um, the only Marvel character I can enjoy. But uh, in in general, it's DC. They're more interesting as characters. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Um, so so I am a little bit biased there. Um, but I I, I also think that they handled the whole. Multiverse. It was this was more of a time travel movie, but the multiverse was mentioned, or or timelines yes. were mentioned, and yes. I think they handled it a lot better than uh, No Way Home 
That's that's not a that's not a credit. I'm just saying because I want to. I honestly um, don't remember what they said in No Way Home. So, um, but and also that this didn't rely as as much as they really hammered home all the Easter eggs in the trailer. Like half of the trailer is just like, "Hey, this is basically a new Batman movie with Michael Keaton, your favorite Batman." And I'm like, "Yes, he is my favorite Batman, but this is supposed to be a Flash movie." Yeah, in the movie. There's not really that many, like, Easter eggs, I mean, that are just there to be funny. You have, of course, Batman is in it, but he plays an integral part. Um, yes. He's not just not... there as an Easter egg, he's actually a character. Yeah. Um, you don't have, like, a different Superman, like, they didn't bring back Brandon Routh or something. No, you actually have a new character, because you're in a different universe where Superman doesn't exist. Instead, we have Supergirl. Yeah. Um uh, which I I I enjoyed that. Um is uh, and and the fact that we don't have three different Barry Allens, we have one. Uh, well, t- we have two. Yes. But they're both the same, so they can't say like, "Oh my god, it's the Flash from the other thing." Yeah, it no, was, no. It was, it was less yeah. reliant on on uh uh, uh fan service. Sure. You know, there was some. I me who's who like like I said who's biased towards all this. Even I groaned at some of the like uh, things they said, I was like, oh god, this is from that movie. Ugh, stop. <laughs> but over, overall, I think it was a much more interesting story, and I loved the fact that we didn't, we barely got any action. I mean, we had some action, like running and saving babies out of burning buildings, but there was <laughs> literally, no, not literally, basically zero punching for the first hour and a half. And after that, we really only had like, two or three little fights and then the big fight in the end, which I really enjoyed. I was like, ah, this is so, like, comparing this to any other, like, Marvel or DC movie, like, ah, this is so small and quaint. I love it. (laughs) Uh, So that's why I actually enjoyed it. I'm not sure I agree with it feeling small and quaint, but yes, it was less uh, punching, sure. It felt huge, though. Like, the universe was... No, but, like, they were traveling all over the place. The... The settings were all big. There was like one place that felt small. <laughs> it was an apartment. Everything else felt big. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh yeah, that's our that's our short review, our short spoiler free review, I suppose. Yes. Uh, mostly spoiler free review of of the Flash. Um I I say if you're a fan of of the DCU, if you're still holding on so that that faint that faint hope that the Snyderverse might live on, you should go see this. I mean, if, if you want to watch, fan of superhero- yeah, if you just want to watch superheroes, go for it. Go for it. Um, I can't speak for Guardians of the Galaxy, and I know everyone's like, people are literally saying it's the best movie of the year. I can't believe the, people the are new saying one? that, but I just can't believe that. Yeah, I know people are like saying like it's a genuinely great movie. I'm like, uh, it's a story about a cartoon raccoon. Fuck you. I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll agree he's with the fact I'm that um, um, I shouldn't Guardians of the Galaxy it, are the so. only interesting characters in the Marvel Universe, but... Uh, yeah, maybe in the first movie. The second one sucked ass. Sure, but there's still Sorry. more interesting characters. Yeah, so we, talk- <laughs> we shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. We We're supposed shouldn't. to talk about the Flash. We're supposed to talk about the Flash. But yes, we need to talk more details, and this is, uh, like we said, it's difficult not to spoil this movie, so from here on out, I guess spoilers... Spoilers, 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 you have been warned. Now, yes. when Batman dies... <laughs> there we go. Just to start it off. <laughs> he yes. doesn't just die once. He dies a hundred million times in this movie. Basically. Now, uh, um, I, I want to go back, though, to what you were talking about. Um, sure. Which one? <laughs> now, now, now we're going to have the discussion. The point that you've, you're... You're you're tired of of stories like this where they know the implications of time travel, but they still do it. I still can't think of a movie where they do that. I mean, I googled Please. it. We have a few. Yeah? Okay. There's a lot of movies where they time travel. I don't remember how well everything goes, but I mean, you have a you have a <coughs> time travel in Harry Potter three. You have a time travel in Tomorrow War. You have time travel in. Uh, uh, Wrinkle in Time, Tenet, but Tenet, well, Tenet works out, I guess. Yeah, they're they're using time travel to their advantage. I mean, yeah, they if any movie has figured out time travel, is that movie. Yeah, <laughs> you know? sure. Um, 
but also like in Harry Potter, it's not a it's not a time travel movie. They just have a little bit of time travel towards sure. the end, right? Yeah, that's true. Or the middle, or whatever it is, and they don't really fuck up any timelines in that. No, everything works out in the end. That's what I mean. Like this is something you al- is you always I- hear them. Di- you always hear them discuss things like this in time travel movies, or like if there's a time travel episode of some TV show or something like that. But I really can't, and that's why you think of it. Like, oh, I've seen this before. No, you've heard it before, but you haven't actually seen it that many times. Um, there's some time travel stuff in Star Trek, of course, and I like Star Trek. A lot of those are like, oh, you need to be mindful of what you do in the past. Okay. Uh, but those are just little episodes of TV shows, which, you know, I don't I don't count that when I'm talking about movies. Because, yeah, then everything's done before. Project Almanac was the one I was thinking about. Oh, okay. I I never watched that one. I know of it, though. I I remember I thought the trailer was cool, then I never watched it. Yeah. It's like an MTV movie, isn't it? Probably. I think it's produced by, like, Paramount slash MTV movies or something. Either way, MTV films. Um, Okay, so that's one. That's the one I keep remembering, though, because I, if I don't misremember anything, they all basically die in the end. <laughs> 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 Spoilers from something that came out in 2015, but you're never going to watch yeah. it. So. No. There are other yeah, movies. So- I just can't think of, of what they're called. But give me some examples again, then. Something. Something out of... Because you're so tired of it. You have to have all Doesn't these memories Jumper in your head. fail as well? Jumper, they don't jump through time. They jump through uh, holes in reality. Am I remembering and that one wrong? Jumper, that movie's almost... Tw- it's 25 years old, Rebecca. Well, yeah, I haven't seen one recently. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I, I, I can't I, give I just, you an example. I'm sorry. I can't give you an example. No. It's the same thing with the... But you've with seen like it a hundred times. You're Groundhog so Days, tired of it. But like Groundhog Day type movies as well. Because this is also a bit of a sure. Groundhog Day movie. There there you have something. You have Groundhog Day, of course. You have Run, Lola, Run. You have... Uh, Happy Death Day. Mo- Happy Death Day, yeah. But... Well, okay. Actually, I haven't seen the second one, so I don't know if it works. No, out. I haven't seen the second one. But, uh, first one, but the first one is good, though. So I don't know... <laughs> It's fine, and, it, and it's and and that's not someone who deliberately travels through time. They get stuck in a loop and like try to figure it out. Yeah, here you just that's deliberately different. do it in a loop because well, I failed. Let's let me just try again. No, but you now you shouldn't you're mess being... with time. Yeah, but I mean, I think you're being too you're being too pragmatic. I mean, this is a man who who. Uh, he 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 lost his mother when he was like seven years old, and he's done. And his father, because he was wrongfully accused of murdering the mother. Um, and he's doing everything in his in his in his uh, ability to 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 clear the his father's name, so at least he can get his dad back. I mean, and now that he has superpowers where he can travel through through time, he is kind of not allowed himself to do that because we know from the Justice League that he can actually reverse time. That's what he does in the end, you know, when he saves yeah. the, the universe, or the world, I suppose. Um, but he says in that movie, bad things happen when I go uh, beyond the speed of light. Yeah. So here he he does it, um, and he realizes that he can actually, like, stop in different points of time, because it runs even faster, because he's yeah, really sad. Can, uh, it's, the power, super... it's the power of emotions, yeah. Yeah. It's the chrono bowl. That's the word. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which was very... It was... Um, not as interesting, but much easier to understand version of t- the Tesseract in the end of uh, Interstellar. <laughs> it's basically the same. Yeah, he enters the fourth dimension and can watch every every event of his life uh, Happen happening at, at the same time. Yeah, and he can just uh, pick where he wants to go. Yeah, and 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 of course, if you ha- if you have like, there is a chance, a minuscule chance that he can get his both his mom and dad back. You don't think he's going to take it? I mean, do you think that worth risking, like, ruining time? No. <sighs> Sorry, Becky, you, you're, you're sounding very, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're sounding a bit spurgy. What? Like, autistic, I mean, like, oh, no, oh. I can't do it. Logic tells me I shouldn't. Well. But it's your mom. Yeah, well, No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I completely un- 
Do you understand why he does it? Sure, I understand why he does it. Thank God. Okay, I thought you doesn't were like, mean oh, I like oh, it. Oh. No, of course no, I okay. understand why he does it. I just think yeah, it's stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Also, also, this is gonna. You're not gonna believe me, even though I mentioned it in the theater. I did. I did like. If if he does one thing, he goes back and makes his dad look up at the camera because that might be okay. That might be the smallest amount of change that was that won't like affect stuff. But no, he goes back and tries to stop the murder instead, which is where he failed because you can't stop the murder. The mom has to die. Yeah, well, we find that out that there are certain. Um... Uh, certain crossover points that are all happen in all realities, and you can't change them. No, but that's that's normally the rule as well. If if you change someone from if you stop someone from dying or or getting born, you're changing too much. If you make someone look up so that, that they're not at that spot at that time, then you you're not changing too much. That's usually more okay in time travel movies. But it took the entire movie to figure out that, oh, maybe I should just have him look up so at least I can save him from going to prison. When we saw the, the security video mm, of the dad never looking up, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, but just make missing, him look you're, up. No, you're missing... You're missing... Uh, uh, um, I know he wants to save his mom from dying, of course. But that's never going to be the... the, the the thing you can do in movies like they would never write a movie where it's where saving someone's life is not gonna mess up with the time space continuum yeah and that but that's the that's the whole point of the movie Rebecca. i know but that, it's that, that's 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 all this movie is about um oh uh, that that he has to come to terms with that that, that i mean they mention it like 20 minutes in and it's 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 reverberates through the entire movie with every character basically like it's the scars that make us who we are like yeah. a change that would change i mean not literally change space time it will change like you wouldn't be you anymore on an emotional level exactly like like when he asks bruce like if if you could get your parents back like would you and he's and he both versions kind of like no. They they kind of brush it aside, but they also say, they basically say no because that's who. Then they I are. wouldn't be yeah. Then I wouldn't be who I am at the moment if I didn't go exactly. through that trauma. But yeah, and that's something. And that's something him. That's something that Barry Allen, the the older Barry Allen, so to speak. Who, what is it? Twenty one, twenty two. I don't know the original. Um, I guess <laughs> uh, original. Uh, the the first Barry Allen that we know of. Um, he figures that out when he sees how desperate the younger Barry on, because he travels back to 2013, um, when he actually first got the powers. That's where he gets kicked out of the time loop, so he like ends yeah. up there. Um, the young that younger Barry Allen, it can't be 2013 though, because he uh, whatever he's starting college. <laughs> it's it's whatever. Whatever he is the younger more, one, the long haired one. Yeah, he's more impulsive, and I mean, he he. Uh, he just find he is he is he has lived with his mom for his entire life because he does stop his mom from getting murdered uh, in the beginning, but that's cre- yeah. that creates the second timeline yes. where Barry Allen has has grown up with his mother and lived with his mother up until you know leaving for college and everything. Um, so when he then he doesn't he doesn't have an entire and you know ten fifteen years to come to come to terms with losing his mother. So when he hears that. We're gonna lose our mother, even though it's not in this timeline. You know, he doesn't he doesn't connect the dots there really. No. Um he can accept it. So instead he tries to to change things. And also the fact that Barry Allen realizes that this universe where they are, where mommy survives, Superman doesn't exist, Zod will destroy the world. That's Everyone what's, will die that's, either way. <laughs> yeah, it is fate. It's one of those unchangeable things in this universe or yes. this timeline. They don't say universe, it's timeline. A timeline, yeah. Also, Spaghetti it's, not strand. Really, it's not really a multiverse story. It's it's timelines. Toward, in the end, they start showing like they, they physically manifest different universes, but that's Yeah. That's really only towards the end. So it's not really a multiverse but story they're also, per se. They're also Unless representing you want to say that every separate timeline timelines. is a different universe. Yeah, yes. but that's the thing though. There's the the universes are separate timelines because a timeline is not straight. It's not linear. 
because as soon as something happens, it it creates. Um, I don't remember how they explain it. I think it's in a video game. Uh, every every choice creates a new branch within that timeline, which eventually just creates like a a, a universe of it. Yes, um, that's the that's the uh, I I don't know any scientific terms, but that's the that's the way they explain um, the 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 multiple timelines theory thing that that you know every choice we make cre- creates a branch in the quote unquote original timeline. Yeah. Um, that uh, and from there it creates an entirely new past, present, and future that that timeline exactly. follows. Um, and they and in this movie they add the thing that at certain points they all intersect here and there. They're not always parallel. Yeah. Um, I I've always had a problem with that because that means that every every millisecond, every 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 moment, like even not even like speaking of time, but just like no 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 all time all time. Yeah. There new branching new... branching because. Now I just chose to move my mouse across the screen. I could have done. I could have not done it. And exactly. And in sixty-five trillion bajillion fucking billion other timelines, I didn't, or I threw the mouse out the window or something. Which and at means the same that- time as your st- your timelines are being created, someone else is sitting somewhere else doing something else, which creates another bajillion timelines. Which means that there are infinite. an infinite amount of timelines being created constantly. Yes. And I don't care how big the universe is. It's gonna fill up pretty fast if that happens. No, but timelines don't take up space in the universe. They don't. No, they, they do. They do from a four, from a fourth dimensional perspective, though. Then time is a physical thing that you can. Yeah, uh, but um, yeah, you can um, touch. <laughs> what's it called? You touch. Yeah, you can. Um, whatever it's called. Yeah, touch it. Alter, feel, manipulate. Sense. Yes, manipulate something. Yeah. So time is physical. Yes, but but every time every time you get new timelines, you expand the universe to make room for all of these extra timelines and choices. Okay. So it's infinite. It's also, the universe is infinite. But that's also not fun because that means that like there are, there are, like you said, there's an infinite amount of timelines. So it's not like ooh, I can probably find that other timeline where I did this. No, no, you can't because there's an infinite amount of timelines in between those. You're never gonna find it. Oh, Which okay. is why you should never regret your choices because <clears throat> you yeah. can't go back and change them. It's gonna be impossible to find that exact moment where you did the wrong thing and go back and change that exact thing, and only that exact thing. Yeah, and that, but I, that's why I don't like time I... travel or or multiverse movies because they don't. It doesn't work. No, that's. I was, I was gonna say I don't. I don't subscribe to the multiple timelines or multiverse. Uh, um, uh, uh, I, Theories, ideas. Or like whatever. I said, armchair scientist here, but I'm like that doesn't <laughs> work. There is one timeline. There is a past and there is a present. The future hasn't happened yet. Um, and I mean, if you if you want if you want to get technical, that's why we can't travel forward in time, but we can and have traveled backwards in time, like for real. So. You know, we have. Yes, every time some, every time an astronaut goes to space, oh uh, yeah, 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 they, if they're gone for, let's say theoretically, they're gone for one hour. They come back after an hour. They've only spent like fifty-eight minutes in space. Yeah, technically yes. Because of because of how how uh, uh, gravity affects time in in space. Yeah. Sure. So it's it's not technically walking into a time machine, but they have traveled backwards. Sure. Or I guess time of slow. No, it does go yeah. backwards eventually. Sorry. Yeah, but then that's... there. Yeah, that's another discussion. <laughs> yes, but I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's just surely. That's why I say that. Like, there's there is a timeline that exists, but it only exists up until the present. So we can yes. go back. Sure. We can't go we forward can't... though. But we we will probably never be able to go back and change things. No, of course not. Because that's too far and too complicated. Unless we manage to break the uh, the 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 speed of light barrier, then we can. Yeah. We can literally move faster than reality. Then, so we can. Sure. But how do we break the speed of light? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, that's for big bigger minds to figure out. Yeah. Anyway, back to the, the flash. flash. Yeah. If you if you if um, you side, if you take. Put aside all the time travel stuff, which was just... You needed to have it for the movie, obviously. Whatever. 
it's it's a it's an okay movie. It's an okay movie, but that's about it. Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's a first of all, it's a clever way to reintroduce the character because it's almost like an origin story for the new Barry. Like yeah. him finding out about he gets his powers, he gets to figure them out. Um, Though I have to ask, would this Barry have had his powers unless the original Barry happened to enter his timeline? No, he wouldn't. Because that's what he that's what he that's what the original Barry misunderstands. He thinks that every timeline is the same, except for right. you know the things you have changed. But they aren't because he changed one thing. Yeah, several and then other things changes. change. Yeah, it's in the this timeline. Effect. Yeah, exactly. So he 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 doesn't he doesn't think think it through. Um, all the way. He thinks the butterfly effect will yeah, it will affect some things. No, it affects everything. So yeah. there are no meta humans except for um, uh, uh, Cora, 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 Cora Drell, Supergirl. Um, yeah. So su- uh, Superman doesn't exist. Well, we figure out Zod actually intercepted his pod and killed the baby. Yes, he's a baby killer. Um, I yeah, mean so that's Aquaman what he wanted to do exist. in the the first movie as well. So. Well, yeah, he but just I mean, failed. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Barry Allen, Barry Allen has his mother, which means he doesn't get the powers because he's not going to be on the at the place where the where the lightning strikes on that night. Yeah, because he doesn't care about working in forensics because his mother's never died. That's the only reason he started exactly. working with in forensics, right? Yeah. Uh, Batman is still Bruce Wayne, but he looks different, and he didn't have to, he didn't have to constantly, you know, protect Gotham, because, uh, sometime in the mid to late 90s, it became the safest city in America, so he just retired. That's why, that's why the Michael Keaton Batman of this universe, or this timeline, timeline, Michael's universe, timeline, (laughs) um, is just, you know, hanging out at home, cooking cooking pasta and has a beard. Hiding in 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 cupboards. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding in cupboards. <laughs> that was a fun sh- uh, scene, though. I'll give you that. Yeah. Um. Because all those things changed. Yeah. Because the something survived. Didn't. Yeah, Wayne Manor was still on the same address, obviously, since they took sure. a taxi there. And I mean, he still um, was Batman. He's just different Batman. Yeah, but because um, well, they talked about meta humans not existing. Batman's not a meta human. He's just a human. no, he's, exactly. He's just he, what are your superpowers again? I'm rich, as they yeah. say in Justice League. Yeah, I still um, hate that Batman is so invincible despite just being human. Well, he like, that old man. No, but that, like the old Michael Keaton dude still fights off like Russian army men so easily. <laughs> well. He jumps Comics around and, logic and, and, and yeah, you know, I, know, I know, I know. He has spent a lifetime honing his. That's the whole thing with Batman, that, that how they explained it in the original, and I, you know, I think that's a plausible explanation. He because he didn't have, you know, he had all the monies in the world, so he could spend all the time he needed to like hone his bod- body to like peak physical condition. He can sure. make any gadget he wants because money is not an object, and he's because of you know all the free time he has, he's super. Uh, well, I want to say super intelligent. He's well read, you know. Yeah, he um, does help with that though. He has Alfred. That as well. Yeah. So, so I, I, I don't, I don't see a problem with Batman being better than the average military guy. Ugh. Plus, he's wearing uh, like full cover body armor. Sure. And he has batarangs. So. Sure. And in this movie, his, uh, his obviously this is a, 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 a like next generation kind of suit from the Michael Keaton movies. Um. His his cape is bulletproof, which made me think yeah. a lot of John Wick. There was a lot of, oh, I'll just hold up my cape and protect everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sort of like uh, John Wick's suit. Everyone just pulling their suit up over their face in John Wick. And they're forward. fine. <laughs> <laughs> and they're fine. They get shot 60,000 times, but he's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should, you know check they out should introduce that John Wick to. Uh, yeah, and you sh- they should introduce that in the, the Fast and Furious universe because then they can can explain how they never get shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Check out that episode if you want to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. We have lots of episodes Sorry. on, on Fast We have lots of episodes on stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So I I didn't see a problem with it. Even if he's older. No, it's, it's mean, not a problem. It's just I've, I've always found that a little bit annoying with Batman. Like, he's still good to be true. But yeah, it's money. But that's because he's you a can do anything with money. good character. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever. Batman is still one of my favorites. 
Just putting yeah. that out there. Because he's tortured. Nah, he's an interesting character. He has he has emotions and uh, values <laughs> compared he's to a... some other superheroes who just thought, <laughs> oh, I'm good. That's it. Yeah. So what else was it you didn't like about this movie? <laughs> what? You, you, thank you. Um... <laughs> no, it's just because I, I was... Exp- I was. I know you. 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 It was hyperbole, but yeah. When the movie was over, you turned to me and said, "This was the most, worst movie I've ever seen," and I, and I don't understand that. No, I. Well, it. I didn't help that it felt like I normally don't get affected by movies being fast paced and and like jumping around a lot, but this time it gave me a headache. Okay. It was like overstimulation from like light and sound and motion. I couldn't stand it. Well, usually when we watch movies, you're you're usually not like tired, uh, you know, worn out. No, you, that's been, true. You've been working not from home, which usually you've been working in your office today. So you were like that day, yeah. Ter- that day, yeah. Uh, not today, that day, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Two days ago, yesterday. 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 <laughs> um, sorry. You know, time is a is a linear thing. You know, we just said that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So maybe you're just not used to watching movie. Not like fully um, energized, Rested. so to speak. You know yeah, what I mean? I guess. Yeah. I guess maybe. Yeah, maybe that might um, have been it. Yeah, because I didn't really f- have a problem with that. Although I have had that problem with movies before, like overstimulation. Like I mentioned that several times. Uh, the first uh, Spider Verse movie, Into the Spider Verse, uh, the animated movie. I thought it was like a fine movie. But I couldn't finish it because I was I started hyperventilating because that movie goes <laughs> six hundred miles an hour, and I couldn't finish I had, it. Like I, I had I that issue to with it, but I... uh, the last Terminator movie we saw. No, not Terminator. Transformers movie we saw in theaters. I had that issue night? a little bit there. That might have been it. Yeah, I don't remember which one it was. My boyfriend literally had to leave because he got a headache and almost wanted to throw up because he got so yeah. dizzy when they were jumping around on flying rocks and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one where the Earth is about to get sucked up by uh, yeah. uh, Cybertron. Yeah, yeah. yeah I kind of started getting that feeling here, and it's just, Jesus Christ. It's like uh, it's like whiplash when they jump back and forth in time. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of funny, though, because a lot of superhero movies have that, like, overstimulation and all the, you know, the punching and explosions and colors. Like I said before, I thought this was kind of quaint when it came to all that stuff. Like, yeah, I don't I, agree. I, I, I mean, maybe you haven't rewatched it, but rewatch the ending of Man of Steel when they literally tear Metropolis to pieces. Yes, it is insane. there's a difference though. That movie is in grayscale, literally. Okay. This one had flash colors, like there was a, a yellow flash and a blue flash running around, and you had um, laser beams shooting, and you had like. I mean, there, I guess there's laser beams in the Band of Steel one as well, but there's just one person being light, shooting lights out of their face yeah. or bodies in general. Here we have three people doing it, while we have the uh, um, the crypt- Kryptonian soldiers blasting with their guns and, and the ships shooting out laser beams. Jesus Christ, it was a rock concert. So you must have hated the last Star Wars movie. Oh, yeah. Because the ending is all that. Which yeah, yeah. I hate it as well. It was awful, but not just for the ending, for the entire thing. But well, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> wait, okay. did I see that one? Yeah, I did see that one. I yeah. still don't remember which Star Wars movies I've seen since <laughs> the original two trilogies. <laughs> They've, I've, seen I've them deleted all, them from my Solo, mind. <laughs> yeah, because they were not worth keeping. No. No. I like I said, I did appreciate some of the characters. I liked Supergirl. She was interesting. I did like. Uh, having my Michael Keaton back as Batman because he feels more grounded than Ben Affleck's Batman. Yes, and that's also something I I enjoyed. Uh, speaking of that, um, uh, because of course Michael Keaton's Batman was in '89 and then '92 was Batman Returns. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, yes, technically Val Kilmer and uh, uh, George Clooney's Batman are supposed to be the same Batman, but they also yeah. both take place in the like mid and late '90s. So let's say they're they're actually the same Batman. Let's just say, even though that doesn't work with this movie, but we'll get to that. I'm just saying. <laughs> so that because he says that oh, Gotham City is the safest city in the world now. Not that, but he says it's a safe city now. So I yeah. retired. 
That means, and we're then going to have to assume that it happened sometime in the late 90s, probably. Sometime after the last Michael Keaton movie. Yes. Um, just, you know, because it makes sense. Um, so that's kind of funny that all his tech uh, is, like, late 90s. But, I mean, because he's, he's, he has, like, advanced tech. So it's basically, like, early 2000s tech. But yeah. like, all his computers are like black and white monitors. He still has the old car. He has the old plane, you, which has the same like buttons and everything. They're, they've added some things so just to make it more fun. Like you yeah. can spin the thing, and there's like an ejector sheet and stuff. Yeah. Um. And I mean, his his suit isn't like this super advanced uh, mega micro suit. It's just a, a, an armor. Yeah. Uh, that's it. <laughs> it looks a little more advanced than the Batman Returns suit, which, by the way, is the the Bat suit that second Barry turns into the Flash suit. That is the suit from right. uh, Batman Returns. You see it on the because uh, it has like the scaled um, uh, uh, chest or stomach abdomen. armor, abdomen. Yeah. yeah, and it has the uh, uh, the first movie had full boots, so that ch- that was but that was so hard to use. So in the second movie, they actually just gave him like um, they gave him like uh, shin shin pads, and then yeah. they just put a pair of Nikes on him. If you look really closely at Batman Returns, he's wearing sneakers in that movie, <laughs> and you right. saw it in this movie as well. He's wearing sneakers, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, um, that was a funny Easter egg, but they didn't it didn't they didn't make you look at they it like look exactly. Look. They don't it point there. it out. It's just if you see it, you see it. Yeah, but I thought it was a neat detail that all his stuff was basically like late nineties, early two thousands tech. Yeah. Like even even his batarangs were just they were really just boomerangs. There was no like tech sharp batarangs. edges. Yeah, sharp edges. And he had a, a a grappling hook. That was it for tech. Yeah. Which, yeah, I thought that was great. It was a great detail. They didn't they didn't give him like laser beams and, you know, like computers in his head and things, you know, like other Batman have. I enjoyed no. that. Yeah, that's good true. detail. Um There was however a surprise um I don't want, it's not a cameo. It, he is an actor, but he's uh, he 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 started on like Vine. Uh, he played one of the friends. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know Vine see. people or TikTok people. He so played. He played Albert. About. Albert. You know the friend from the from the work, the guy and the girl from work. Yeah. Who in the it's, alternate timeline are are stoners? Yes. And that's why Barry Allen is a stoner in that timeline. Yeah. Because he didn't have to grow up and fend for himself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, who is he? I don't. I have no it's idea. Rudy, is, Rudy so. Man, 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 Mancuso. I don't know how to Mancuso? say his name. Oh, I've, yeah. I've heard the name, but I don't. I don't know who it yeah. is. Rudy Mancuso. No, okay. I, it, that was just a surprise. Like, wait, he's actually in a big movie. Good for you, I oh. guess. <laughs> well, I guess that is that is the next step for Vine and YouTube stars to actually. Go out into the real world and make movies, even though yeah, like, not you just can probably make more money or... on YouTube. <laughs> well, other than that, I all the ac- actors and stuff were, were returning, right? No, uh, they changed out the dad. You mentioned yes, they changed. It was um, oh shit, I forget his name now. Uh, Billy Crudup in uh, original Justice League and, of course, uh, Snyder Cut. But they changed it here to Ron Livingston. Uh, not sure why. They're both, like, they look kind of similar. Generic white guy, I suppose. And also, it's not <laughs> like, oh, I'm sure Billy Crudup was so... No no offense to Mr. Crudup if he's listening, but like, I don't think he was, like, you know, <laughs> unavailable because he was doing a hundred other movies at the same time. So I don't know why they... Maybe it was just a scheduling conflict. I don't know. It, yeah, maybe. it sucks, though, because it sucks whenever they have to change an actor. It doesn't matter how small it is, because it's always like, oh, right, now that's that person. Well, that's always going to be the biggest problem with uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, that um, um, uh, Rachel was played by... Uh, um, oh, what's yeah. What's her name? Tom 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 Cruise's wife in the in Batman Begins, yeah, and then it is, and then in the second one it's uh, uh, Maggie Gyllenhaal. I mean, I, Maggie Gyllenhaal did a great job, but it's always like she was. I say she was better than the other girl. Sorry, um, but I was like, but I still like her back because that would that's that's Rachel, you know. Mm, it's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, it's but not at least here it's someone who's only been in like two three scenes in the entire franchise, so. It's not 
you know, it doesn't ruin anything, but it's always annoying. But yeah, other than that, everyone's back. Which um, is a nice detail, I guess. Because yeah. even though they... I, ooh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was about to say, maybe we can do, blame the alternate timeline for his dad looking different, but no, we can't. Nope. Because <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's the same dad in both timelines <laughs> in the yeah. movie. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, and then, but yes, no, no, there's one more thing we need to talk about, and it's the CGI. Oh, okay. Yes, the CGI. For Christ's sake. I don't know if they hired some, like, smaller smaller firm, or if there was a lot of, I don't know, because this movie, this movie was in, like, development hell for not a, not a long time, because it hasn't been de- developing that long. Not, at least not this version of the movie. So maybe they had to do, like, some. Maybe I haven't I haven't looked into this because it's so new yet. So maybe there was like reshoots and they had to redo a lot of CGI and that's why it looks terrible. Or they just hired a subpar company, uh, or I guess they hired a company and didn't pay them. That's usually what happens. Yeah. And said so just yeah, you got to do all this and this movie out of all the uh, DC movies, I said this has the most CGI. There's so much CGI, of course, because. He has to run fast, so you can't yeah, do that. Yeah, in real but life. it's not that. No, it's not just that though. Whenever there were two berries in, in shot, one of them looked so fake. What? Yeah, especially in- especially when they were wearing the masks, the face just looked so. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me, so when whenever the two berries were talking, you thought they looked fake. Whenever you know they were wearing the, su- the suits, no, when they cut them together, I know, I know, no, no, no. But they, whenever they were wearing the suits and they were both in the scene, they they looked weird. Not when they oh, were in normal clothes. That didn't bother that. I, that didn't bother me. I, I thought of all the other faces in that, especially in the Chrono Bowl sequence when you saw all oh, the that different. Too. Oh my god! That looked like put the baby in, in Twilight. <laughs> yeah, it looked awful. And yes, all the babies in the beginning falling out of the building. Yeah. Like they it looked like a video game. Yes. A video game cutscene, I guess, but still a video game. Yeah, it looked awful. Um but But they had the- to have changed Ezra Miller's face for the younger one a little bit cuz he looks like he has less of a jawbone. No, I didn't notice any of that. Maybe they did some digital touch up, but I didn't notice that. Whenever the two berries talk to each other, that looked great because it's just him talking to himself. It's not CGI. They've just green screened him. He looks so, weird, though. Oh no! I I know I I there. I'm I'm. I know that's your opinion, but that that's I mean that's objectively <laughs> wrong because I know it's the same face. They just superimposed. Yeah, no, I know. So I'm sorry, but, but you're when, wrong. But when they're wearing the suits, they had to CGI some of it, right? Because not the the suits aren't real. Yeah, some of the the more advanced suit, the one that uh, it's inflatable or whatever. Um, yeah, <laughs> he looked a little smooth sometimes, but not in any scene where they talk to each other. I think you you no, I'm I okay, I, I don't see it. Fine. Sorry, I'm sorry, but I agree with you though that ninety percent of the CGI looks awful. Yeah, it was some of the worst CGI I've seen in a movie in a long time. At least big movie like this, where they, I should have a budget to do stuff better than that. Um, I, I guess Disney has, has the snatched up pictures. all the, uh, yeah. And Super Supergirl is actually wearing the Supergirl suit, so that's she that, is. Oof. Yeah, that makes the cape even isn't there, but that <laughs> might be that might be just because uh, of where what the picture is doing. Yeah, but usually they usually nowadays they CGI the cape because yeah, that they way it won't get in people's faces or and stuff it'll, like that. It'll yeah. look weird. Yeah, they can make it look. They can, flowy, they can like control this. exactly where it goes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Can make it look more romantic instead of realistic. Yeah. Um. But yes, speaking... they did make a suit for her at least. Yeah. Well, speaking of Supergirl, God damn! <laughs> not not that it was. A, How actually, old is she? <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I that's that was what I was talking about. I guess I, I uh, not because of that, but I just looked up all the actors and I was like, Ugh, she's born in ninety five, she's a kid. And oh, I was yeah, like yeah. Wait a minute, ninety five. That means she's twenty eight <laughs> this year, so, yeah. Yeah. So she's not even that much younger than me, so I feel fine saying, God damn You know what the best part is? Because she did yeah. great. 
I liked her acting. Yes, she this was. This is her. Had- this is her first um, big movie role. She's had one big role before that, and that was in a uh, TV show. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I did not recognize her. No, me um, neither. She looked fantastic, though. Yes, but 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 beyond that, because I got I got to counteract my 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 howling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you know, for being introduced, basically an hour and a half into the movie. So she has an hour of time in the movie, and she actually disappears for some of it. Yes. Um, we perfectly understand her as a character, mainly because they kind of, you know, just uh, shifted uh, uh, Superman's backstory onto her, so we can, yeah. we could, we could, we could, um, we could, uh, we could instantly sort of empathize with her as a character. Um, but also, she sold it perfectly. Yes. Um, especially since this was a character, she had, she didn't grow up in Kansas. She didn't love in family. She was intercepted by Russians, and they have been experimenting on her for like I don't know how long. I, uh, we don't know exactly when, because that that probably changed as well. Um, yeah, because she looks when, very young. When in time? Yes, exactly. When in time, Superman was supposed to land on this planet, uh, the, in this timeline. So let's say she's been here for like a few years. Because she was sent She's to protect been... the baby. Yeah, but the baby never arrived, and she got caught caught in this. Uh, what did you call it? The Russian metal scrotum. <laughs> yeah, the metal, the giant metal scrotum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where she didn't get any sunlight, which eventually makes it's her very, they... very weak. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So she gets out, and yeah, she, for, at first, like. At, at first, they're like, oh, shit, maybe she's not good, because this is a different timeline. Maybe Superman is bad here, or Supergirl in this case. Oh, yeah. But no, it's just, she's a little angry after having been, you know, caught in that steel ball for, I don't know, years. Um, So you understand, and 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 also, she's not the main character, but no. she has enough of an arc where she's like, Barry asks her to help him to save the world. You gotta save all these people. And she's like, why would I want to save them? The people of this planet sucks. Because she's only experienced bad people in the Russian Un- experiment people. Yeah, until she meets Barry. Yeah, she meets Barry. He was nice. And she asks, like, why, 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 when I wasn't the person why you were you looking for, me? why did you help me? I'm like, because you needed help. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then and when she... Oh, she... other humans might do that too. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and she, she, gets, she gets a little bit more of that when uh, uh, she runs into... The humans who are, who are uh, co- co- uh, talking to Sod, she like realizes like, yeah. oh okay, there are actually good people here as well. Um, yeah. No, she saves someone. No, what? What the hell? Because she runs away. I don't and comes remember. Back. Well, I think she just reflected on what Barry did. That's why she come back. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, because both so Barrys she- are acting like nice towards her. One Barry actually saved her, the other one is just being respectful and nice and she just needs to fly away and have some thinking and then she comes back and like, sure, I'll help you. Yeah, Because I can see that what, what you're trying to do is a good thing. Yeah, she sees what the, the lengths Barry goes through so he can get his powers back because we haven't yeah. said that. Original Barry loses his powers because he's in a timeline where he doesn't have the powers. No, no, because no, he gets sorry, hit no, by the lightning that's well, supposed to right. gives him the power, so it reverses it for him. And gives the other Barry the powers. Yeah, yeah, which is so kind of weird. Yeah, it's the movie thing, whatever. It's a yeah. Deus Ex Machina. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. Because, I mean, superpower doesn't work anyway, so if they want to take him no. away <laughs> by reversing them, that's fine for me. Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 uh, the, the internal logic is fine. Fine. Um, so when he desperately tries to get it back and almost kills himself, uh, 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 you know, Batman says, like, no, I'm not going to do this. But then she shows up and, like, I- I'll help you because I can just put you in the sky where the lightning is. Yeah. Um, she sees that, like, he's willing to go to these lengths to save people. Maybe he's there is willing good to in kill himself. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then also she's also, uh, of course, motivated by anger towards Sod. Yes. Because he says... Oh, Especially I'm when sorry. she knows, yeah, the baby did. didn't survive, and that's the the moment from the the trailer where she goes, "What did you do?" I always thought that would be like a younger Barry, because I didn't realize that was Supergirl in the trailer. Oh, okay. <laughs> because the because of the hairstyle, I was like, "Oh, that just looks like the other Barry, kind of." 
Yeah, so maybe it's a younger Barry who's angry Barry. at yeah. Maybe it's a younger Barry who's angry with the original Barry. But no, it's Supergirl. I mean, yeah, it could have been. It's, it's her. Could have been a girl in another voice. timeline. We don't know. Oh yeah, no. Ah. <laughs> uh, um. Actually, I have to mention. Uh, there is she is credited in a development. Uh, Supergirl. Oh. What? No. So um. But it's just in development, and she's the only one there, and there's a writer. That's it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Be- because they can't use actors from the DCEU in the new one and just say, oh, no, it's a different timeline. So, we're never going to talk about the Snyderverse again, but, oh, it's the same characters. We promise. Fuck that. Well... Well, oh no! We'll see oh, about that. No, James Gunn, I hate thee. <laughs> <sighs> ah, we'll have to see. I'm just mentioning that, we'll see in the future what happens. Yeah, okay. okay, okay, okay. How about we round this off with? Have you seen the Metascore? Uh, I looked at it like the day before, and then it was like in the fifties. It's a sixty now. Oh, right, that's true. It technically premieres today, doesn't it? Yeah, but I mean, we've had uh, we've had uh, sneak previews a long time. We almost yeah, saw but, it at the beginning of the month. Yeah, but we haven't had like the public eye. I haven't seen it all, and they haven't all put in their reviews. And maybe some of the uh, reviews haven't been released yet, then or something. I guess. Yeah. Um. Because everyone has premiering premieres today or the sixteenth, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we are technically um, one day early. On Letterboxd, of course, it's always skewed there, but it has like a 3.3. 3, and But if you look at the, the pillars, it's a lot of three and a halfs and fours. Yeah. Um, but, just, but then, of course, reading the reviews, because that's just people who, who's putting down a, a, a score. Actually, reading the reviews is more like twos, threes, uh, some three and a half. It was not, someone gave it a five. I'm like, no, that's a joke. Um, a lot of threes, three and a halfs, actually, and twos. Yeah. Uh, here's a here's a here's a one star review, which starts with "I broke history." Eric Stoltz is Marty McFly. Did you get that joke, by the way? Uh, I just have to ask. Uh, why no, I don't they... even know who Eric Stoltz is. Oh, okay, Eric Stoltz is a. Uh, uh... He was more, f- you know, he was he was one of those like teenage slash slash kid actors. Who never really, like he, he, his career never really launched. I mean, he he's he's been working. I'm sure he's still working to some extent, uh, but he never like got the the fame and fortune that a lot of other actors did. But he was actually the first actor cast as Marty McFly, and they started oh. filming the movie with him. There are, I don't think any footage still exists, but there are pictures like screen dumps from from the footage uh, of him. Like interacting with Doc and interacting with his mom in the fifties, so I mean they must they shot some of the movie, and it just wasn't working out. Like he wasn't the right fit, um. So they, uh, yeah, they fired him or you know I don't know paid him off or replaced whatever. him whatever replaced him yeah replaced him with with uh, 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 um, Michael, Michael J. J. Fox, Fox. yeah I, was, was I do J. recognize Fox. his face now that I found him yeah so that's I've why seen him they, in like, something. Oh, in this version it's it, it's actually Eric Stoltz <laughs> which is kind of funny. Yeah. Um, I just I, I just, mean they just rotated who played who basically it felt like. So I was like, yeah, cool. They're mentioning a bunch of actors who just played iconic roles and no, but they played another iconic role. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Kevin Bacon is not footloose. That's Michael J. Fox. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Other than that, no, I didn't get the joke, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I was gonna say, oh, I could read this review, but it's so long, and this guy, he, he just does not seem like a, a fa- he seems biased, if you're reading uh, the review, but fuck it. Is it, is it, it. on uh, I, IMDB or Letterboxd? No, on Letterboxd. Um... Because there is one user review for <laughs> The Flash on IMDb. Oh? But it's also long as hell. Is it from a guy called Darren? No, Matthew Michael Hoffman. Okay. Because that's this guy. Uh, he says, if The Flash were a better movie, this might be charming. 
It might play as a knowing metafictional joke about the movie as a fan service delivery mechanism. Instead, it serves as something of a mission statement. The Flash isn't a movie. It's a shareholder presentation. It's two and a half hours of watching a major conglomerate rearrange intellectual property like it's uh, deck chairs on the Titanic. Like, no, yeah. it's not. Like, like... He, he did he watch oh, the movie? <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what he's talking because he he wants it to sound like they're showing all the shareholders of Warner Brothers like this is what the new movies are going to look like. It's going to be fun and 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 uh, and light. It's not going to be dark and dour like before. But that's that's selling the movie short because, like I said, like what uh, part of what I like about it, this is going to go on for a while. I'm sorry if you have uh, other things to do. I'm far from done. <laughs> Um, We're at an hour, you know that, right? I know, I know. And I I don't think we need to stop at an hour. It's just that we we need to fill an hour. If we go over, that's fine for me. Sure. Because what I found so refreshing with this for a superhero movie is that, like we said, uh, there is, other than Batman shaping down one car in the opening action scene, there is zero punching. No, that's wrong. Sorry. Bruce Wayne fights off the two bears in the kitchen, but that's a joke scene. And then there's the Russia scene where they're fighting no, a yeah, lot. Yeah, but I was going to say, that's, that doesn't happen until an hour, because I remember this, because I distinctly asked you, when they arrived in Russia, I was like, how long, has we, how long have we been watching? And you showed me your clock, uh, your watch, sorry. Um, and it had been almost oh, yeah, an hour and a half. Yeah, that was an hour thirty. 30. Yeah. yeah, that's true. And there had been zero punching. Like, no, like, oh, terrorists are attacking the bank. You need to go punch all the bad guys. Oh, Batman needs help with the, you know, the Joker. You need to go punch him. Go back in time and punch this person. We got to punch, 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 punch. No. There was one big scene in the beginning just to show, you know, the everyday life of Barry Allen. Saving, saving, literally saving babies in a, from a burning building. But then also having to juggle that with his professional life as a as a researcher for a criminal yeah labs things i don't know um and how he's always late even though he can move at the speed of light i mean that's so hilarious that's silly but forensic I mean, science by the way forensic science you know what i mean <laughs> criminal lab <laughs> science things um yeah uh you know so that, i i don't mind that that's just to show that you know when things happen you know he he still does his hero work um and he didn't punch anyone he only grabs, no, he only true. saves babies and dogs and nurses, which is, you know, that's what a superhero should do. So I like that. That is, that is Flash's role, though. <laughs> yeah, like Justice he says, League. I'm the janitor of the Justice League. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, kind of how, uh, uh, Fear of the Gods started. It starts with them saving a bunch of people on a, on a bridge. Yeah. Um, and then we don't even have an action sequence after that. It is literally just him, like, uh, Talking to his dad, trying to figure things out, having awkward conversation with the girl from his, from college, Iris West, you know, shows up in one scene in the Justice League, the the hot dog slow motion scene. Um, uh. Uh, it's him finding out about, you know, if I run even faster than before, I can actually stop time and look at it from a fourth dimension. Um, and him like. Trying to figure out, like, oh, so I can actually go, I cannot, I can't just reverse time. I can actually go back and stop at new places in time. Did can you I notice use... that when he got to that speed, his legs started moving backwards? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so He's <weird>. running forward, but <laughs> his legs are moving backwards. You know, time yeah. thing. I don't know. Um, it was silly. Yeah, it was. Um, but then he's contemplating, like, and he talks with Bruce about it, like, this means I have a chance to change the past. And then that's when they introduce the the big moniker for the movie. Like the scar, the scars are who the, the scars are where the, the, the scars are made us who we are. Like you can't just go changing things, not just because it will ruin time, but it'll ruin you. Like I said before. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but maybe I'll just change a little thing. I won't directly stop my mom from getting murdered. I'll just change I'll make it so details. there's no reason for her to be murdered. Yeah, exactly. Um, or at least, uh, well, no, he wants her to not be murdered, but at least, you know, there's a reason for his dad not to have to go to the store, you know. Yes. He's trying to do it as passively as possible, but, you know. Sure. It doesn't work, because, you know, you step on the wrong blade of grass, you'll ruin everything, like Batman says, and that's what happened. Yeah. 
Um, and of course, I've been scrolling through some. Uh, sorry, I have to interact, interact here, interject here. I scrolled through some of the reviews on Letterboxd, and someone else said the same thing as I did. The CGI baby from the Twilight Saga got siblings. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was awful. It was. It is. <laughs> it's terrible. terrible. Um, that's like a whole point for me just deducted there from from there. Yes, everyone is mentioning like, like this. this movie is would have been so much better if it looked better. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't look it shouldn't look that bad in a big motion picture like this. Either way, no. Either way, um, and I also and I also love that uh, the the whole thing with because when he starts traveling too much in 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 time like that, we see this. At first, I thought like, "Oh my God, it's like the Dhaka in Prince of Persia. It's some, some sort of time beast who stops people from traveling through time." You see the the purple thing. Yeah. But as the movie goes on and he appears again, we, uh, uh, you know, towards the end when when uh, Newberry tries to go, he goes back in time over and over and over and over and over again, trying to stop Batman and uh, uh, Kara from dying, uh, also then stopping Sod from destroying his world in his timeline, because. Yeah. Yeah, that that's also why he's doing it, not just to stop Barry from killing his mom again. Like no, he's trying to save his world, but while Barry realizes that like, this timeline was always meant to be destroyed, or at least the world was supposed to be destroyed in this timeline. Um But like we said, because the new Barry has just has just found his powers. This is also new to him. He tries over and over to stop it. Eventually as we see the 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 other one who's now like stuck in this chrono ball thing he's stuck between dimensions he's actually been doing it they don't say how many times but so many times that not only is he like he has aged even though he's outside of time which means he shouldn't age so he's been doing well, it for he's hopping a long... in and out of time though sure so he's like he's like he's experiencing time like a few seconds at a time but he's yeah, still but... aged like 40 years because he's probably been been at it for forty years or so. He's probably been at it for I'm. They don't like they don't say it, but he. I don't know in terms of times, but he has he has been to that point where Batman and Kara dies, probably millions of times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If he's not more, done it all the times he can. This is this is the one he thought would actually work because he brought in another Barry Allen. Yeah, but not even that worked. No. Because then he, you know, like he says, I had to, I had to, uh, I had to stop you to create myself. Yeah. And then and then kill you. Like it's, he's just making more and more problems for himself. And like we see with the Barry Allen when he gets the um, piece of metal stuck in his arm because he he doesn't face enough. This 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 uh, time monster Barry Allen, his entire body is covered in metal that is that have been hitting him over the millions yeah. and billions of times he's tried to stop fate. Um, and he's drooling and he's like, he's hunched over like he's barely human anymore. And I mean, he's, he has developed time powers that, that we don't know how, how they work. That, that purple thing that he uses, like, it's just to show that. And I mean, that works as both like, ooh, it's a scary monster barrier, but it also like, it shows you like the, no matter what you do, it, it, it you can't change the past. Yeah, uh, he 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 is a a walking metaphor for for it. He's the physical yes. manifestation of you know fate because you can't yeah. change it. Yeah, no matter what you do. And I thought that for being a comic movie, I thought that was kind of clever. Sure. So I enjoyed that part as well. That, that that's that's the whole thing with this. Unlike, once again, not fair to compare, but unlike No Way Home, where in the end everything works out. In this version, you know, first of all, Barry Allen doesn't save his mom. Um, no. he has to he has to go back and make sure she actually dies to 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 fix things because because in starting to move through time, he created this monster Barry Allen who eventually will destroy. All the universes because Everything. they come in, they come colliding in because he's changed too much, too many times. Um, so he has to make sure his mom dies. In a, uh, I, I, I heard you were just rolling your eyes and sighing a lot, but when he when he goes <laughs> back to to take back that can of tomatoes because that was the whole thing. Um, yes, and he he hugs his mom. I do tears, tears. 
It was... Uh, well, no, no, I agree. That scene was It was beautiful. very effective, yeah. Because he knew... The mother he knows... was the least of the issues in this entire film. <laughs> okay. It Her was, scenes were all great. Because there was, there was this beautiful uh, relationship between him and his mother. He just never got to experience it because she died when he was young. So whenever yeah. he did get to experience it, it was beautiful, of course. But you were, there was a lot of, oh my god, when he was talking to her in the store, I'm just saying, from you. was There was? Yeah, you were like... Maybe I was just were, tired by were, then. <laughs> you were do, yeah, you were doing the, get on with it motion with your hands. I was like, what are you, are you, are you that emotionally <laughs> stunted, Rebecca? What is wrong with you? This is heartbreaking. No, it was heartbreaking. Yeah. Um, because, like, he, he has to. And in doing so, he's also dooming... The other Barry, who has become a friend of his now, he's dooming that Barry timeline uh, to, you know, having his world destroyed. Like, literally destroyed by Zod. Because that's, yes. that's what he does when he kills Kara, takes the the, the codex from her, because she has the codex, not, not uh, Jor-El this time. Yeah. Or, um, uh, whatever his name is. Kal-El. Kal-El, sorry, Kal-El. Um... And, and of course, Batman dying in in fighting the uh, the Kryptonians. Like he has to give those two people who's become his friends, he has to let them die because it was supposed yeah. to happen. You can't change fate. And it's it's a it's a it's a it's a very sobering and uh, you know more mature look at you know these kind of superhero notions of oh, I got to change things. Other than that piece of shit Spider-Man No Way Home movie. Yeah, sure. We should actually... <laughs> we never talked about that because I didn't want to talk about it after I'd seen it. We should actually do a patron episode on that movie as a companion piece of this. That would be perfect. Because we, we didn't really know what we were going to do. We were going to do a general conversation about DC I'm, movies. I'm going to have to rewatch it then, I guess. I don't have... I'm not going to rewatch it. Fuck that. But I'll talk shit about it. it. I'll talk shit about it all day long. I hate that movie. It made me <laughs> physically ill how terrible that movie was. To bring you back um, a little bit to The Flash, I'm reading more yes. reviews as you're talking because you talk a lot. I know, I know. <laughs> there are two I want to just highlight from Letterboxd. <laughs> One is about the CGI. First of all, uh, this person, Rachel Leishman, mentions that Michael Keaton is God. All hail Michael Keaton. Agreed, yes. Yeah. But somehow the CGI in Lindsay Lohan's parent trap was better than both Barry Allen's together in this one. I don't... I can kind of agree. <laughs> but the best one is uh, Max Ivanov says, I'd go back in time and unwatch this. I don't care if it rips the fabric of space-time or whatever that stupid spaghetti analogy was. I don't. I wouldn't go back in time, but it's a fun way of writing it. Yeah, the spaghetti anal- analogy worked, I think. Yeah. Because timelines are straight. As uncooked sp- general... spaghetti is. Yes. But eventually, if you mess with it too much, you're going to cook all the timelines and they become a, a sloppy mess. Like spaghetti! Yeah. I mean, that's a not a bad... A sloppy mess, yes. Yeah, that's not a bad analogy. No, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah. Stupid idiots. People, honestly, once I'm saying this because I am biased. Like I said, I'm a DC fanboy. But I also think that a lot of people are giving this a bad review because they are biased towards it or against it or whatever. Well, They're yeah. like, ugh, this is part of the DCEU. We're tired of the fucking dark Batman movies. So I'm just going to give this a bad score. I'm going to nitpick this to death. Like, this is not worse than any of the other fucking terrible uh, uh, comic book movies we get. This is... This is this is generic fine, you Yes. Know? I think a lot of people are comparing them, which is unfair in a, in a way. You can't compare all the, the superhero time travel movies that have recently been re- released. The the multiverse things and the Spider-Man one, the, the, the Doctor Strange one, and you have, I guess, the, the animated Spider-Man is also multiverses yeah. and shit, because there's plenty of Spider-Mans in that one. Like, yes, there has been many multiverse superhero movies le- recently in the last few years. Yeah. This one is coming coming in a little bit late to that. Yeah. But do you have to compare them because of that? Like they're still different movies. Yeah. Um and a lot also- of the reviews are mentioning uh the Spider-Verse or the um uh what was the other one? No Way Home. <laughs> 
Yes, no way home. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've done like, that as well, so. Sure, but you're not comparing them. You're just saying that you didn't like that one because you like DZ better. You're not <laughs> saying that the, the logic is flawed in, in the No Way Home because it's the same stupid logic. Well, the logic is flawed. We'll get to that. Uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> I mean, time travel logic, like we said in the beginning, time travel logic is flawed everywhere. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. no, no. It's really. it's um, it's um things that they retcon from the other movies that, that oh, yeah, annoy but that, me. Yeah. But we'll get to that. Sorry. Um, but like they do their own time travel thing. This one is doing this. This one's time travel thing. Let's just if you want to review a movie, you shouldn't only compare them. You should also look at the movie itself. Yeah, exactly. Like in a vacuum, the time travel in this movie isn't worse fine. or or better than any other movie. No, it's it's the, fine. It, it holds up. Like I said, internal logic holds up, and it is yeah. like many other time travel movies. It's a metaphor for you know you can't change fate and. We are who we are because of the scars we bear. Yeah, life to change happens. that is to change yourself, and that's you. You like who you are, right? Like most people do, at least. Uh, even even if you don't like who you are, there's no point in trying to change what happened. It's better to try and change the future instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You are you are who you, you are. Can't yeah, you can't really change who you are, and if you try, you will fuck up things. <laughs> Very apt. Now I think about it, that we got a suicide prevention hotline uh, ad before the movie. Because basically, what this oh yeah, saying, we did. I was like, we did, but yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. Like you are who you are. You know, like, you have and you have to come to terms with that and eventually uh, love yourself. Like, don't try to change yeah. things in the past. It won't work. No, no, you accept what happened and make sure you don't make the same mistakes again or something. Yeah, don't and stay in the same sad track. <laughs> yeah. Try something new. And in 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 the in regular DCEU fashion, I think they looked they looked at it in a more mature way. Yes, there I say it, mature. This is for a grown up audience. This is not Marvel. Blah blah blah. Ha ha. I know. But I think <laughs> it was a much more mature look at that that uh, philosophy than uh, uh, a lot of the other ones are. Yeah, like Multiverse of Madness is just how about if we punch everything and it'll be fine. That's literally that movie. Yeah. The movie ends with with him going back and I'll just punch her and it'll be fine. Yeah, that and one doesn't a- really um, process the impact of traveling back and forth and jumping around a lot. No, because he yeah. can literally reverse whatever he wants to. Yeah, that was that's why that movie is so fucking awful. Check out our episode on that if you want to. God, damn, that <laughs> yeah. awful. If you really wanna. <laughs> and then of course, like I said. Um, no way home. Where it's just like, I can fix it, and then in the end, and everyone's saying like, No, you can't fix, you can't fix, uh, you know, the past. It'll just ruin the time space continuum. And then in the end, he fixed it. It's like what? And like, oh. I honestly don't remember that he fixed it. Well, they 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 do a thing where the the fixing it is that oh, because I told everyone uh, that you know. They they don't know that Peter Parker is Spider Man. That's basically what he does. It's it's a it's a magic spell. It doesn't travel through time or travel to another dimension. Oh right. He changes like a fundamental, uh, like fact of of this universe, which then starts you know other universes crashing in on it. Which I don't know why it would, but other Spider Men start showing up for some reason, and other villains start showing up for some reason, and their explanation um, is really non-existent. It's yeah, so I, the only thing I remember from that movie is that it's not Uncle Ben who dies, it's uh, the aunt. Well, What's her name? Well, she May. dies as well. Uncle Ben is already dead. So like I said, they don't travel sure, back in but time. Like, sure, sure, sure. But I mean, like, it, it, it's it's her who gives him the, with great power comes great yes, responsibility exactly. speech. <laughs> because they never had that in the first movie. Because they didn't want to do the cliche Uncle Ben dying and him, and him becoming Spider-Man like they've done before. They just saved that for the third movie and said, I, that's, oh my god! I got angry just thinking about it. And then, no, I'll save it for the conversation because the, they do even worse things with it. Either way, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. It's been an hour and a half. Yes, now. thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, all in all, this is... The, it's, I, I, it's fine. It's a good movie. And it's even better because it's... it's um, because I really want the Snyderverse to happen, and this is this is it's it's on life support, 
So whenever we get a, just a glimpse of the Snyderverse in the Flash or in Shazam or, you know, in the new Aquaman, I am going to keep watching those movies because I love the Snyderverse. Uh, and that's, like I said, that's why I also like this movie. I'm, I'm biased. Yeah, no, I'm I'm still appreciating the DCU much more than the Marvel Universe, so I yeah. will. I am intrigued for the next Aquaman. Yeah, just because. Um, even I, though the last uh, Wonder Woman was kind of awful, it's yeah. still better than most Marvel movies. <laughs> 1984 was pretty bad. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So that's we're just gonna wrap it up there. There's no, there's no, yes. we, 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 yeah, we, we don't have any finale to this. Uh, thank you so much no. for listening. I, ho- I hope uh, you made any sort of sense out of this. <laughs> and if you want to hear us, uh, or at least me, I don't know, me mostly, shit on uh, Spider Man No Way Home. We're gonna do a um, a uh, a Patreon episode for that next week. And also, if you're listening to this and you're wondering. Where's the intro music? Where's the outro music? Well, I am still having technical difficulties with my internet, which means I I not only can't upload this, I have to I have to get help from Rebecca. Um I also <laughs> cannot edit this because my editing software is on a subscription plan. So I I and they have to, you know, it needs to be online so they can check my my um my serial number. So whenever I try to start my uh, editing software, they say, oh, you don't have the right serial number. Like, no, of course, I don't have any serial number right now because it's online. Um, so, yes. yeah. This so is just gonna, this, this is, is what, this is going to be what it is until you get your internet back. And we're going to yeah. continue doing it this way until you get your internet back because we don't want to stop. We still have movies we want to talk about. Yes. So now you know what it sounds like on Patreon because on Patreon, we just, we just start recording... Zero editing. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't do a lot of editing in these episodes, but there's zero editing in those episodes. We just talk. Yes. Um, yes. So this is a little bit of a taste of that. And if you want more of that, like I said, patreon.com slash don't make a scene. There's literally hundreds of hours of exclusive uh, episodes there. So check that out. And more to come. And more to come, of course. But other than that, I want to say thank you so much for listening, and we will see you in the next episode. But until then, have a good one. Bye. Bye.